at Missouri River Levee Unit L575 near Hamburg, Iowa are well underway and proceeding at a steady clip. The work at the levee comes on the tail of substantial flooding in the Missouri River Basin during the summer of 2011. Floodwaters would breach L575 near both the communities of Percival and Hamburg. The sponsor of the levee would notch a third point on the structure further south along L575 to reduce the pressure of the floodwaters behind the levee and allow those waters to flow back into the Missouri River. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Omaha District is now restoring those breached segments of levee to their originally designed level of flood risk reduction. We're building a setback levee primarily due to public safety concerns and there's significant public safety concerns here and that's why this has been funded first and that's why the construction is taking place first. Uh, obviously the whole goal of constructing the levee is to reduce the level of risk to the public and surrounding areas and uh, this is why we're here and this is why we're doing it. To accomplish the work, the Corps has designed what is referred to as a setback levee alignment. We're moving the levee from its original footprint and setting it back from there and reconstructing it. It provides better protection, uh, there's a greater rigor that's going into this levee than what was there prior. And again, the whole, whole reason is to protect uh, the industry and the surrounding areas, farmers, uh, the interstate system, the public. The construction work has been awarded to Weston Solutions Incorporated. In turn, Weston is employing local and regional contractors and farmers to build the setback. That setback will be constructed using all available materials from the sheared and damaged portions of the original levee adjacent to the breach. Additional earth, clay, and sand will come from borrow pits near the work site. The repair project is estimated to cost upwards of $120 million, although it may come in under that number. We've been uh, placing fill for approximately three weeks and we figure probably about two more weeks that we would be uh, complete up to the 25 year levy and then maybe another week to week and a half and we would be complete with uh, the uh, full height and uh, then we would have some berms to put on that uh, may extend a little bit past there. Repair work at the breaches is scheduled to be completed by March 1st. For more information on ongoing levee repairs and restoration of flood control structures in the Missouri River Basin, follow us on Facebook and Twitter.